everyone! I haven't done a video about atheism, or religion in general, in well over a year, and the reason for that is I honestly find a lot of the discussion about atheism to be rather tedious now. After three and a half years of participating on YouTube and being mostly a spectator to the many long-winded atheist-theist exchanges, it appears that much of the discussion and arguments have been exhausted. For so long, it looked to me like that arena just has nowhere else to go. But that's because, for me, religion very rarely hits close to home. A few weeks ago, the user Bionic Dance uploaded a video called You Make My Life Worse, which was a video response explaining, for the 700th time, how religion is the bane of mankind's existence, pretty much. And while her frustration can certainly be understood, I think her overgeneralizing of religion is far too simplistic, especially when her beef is clearly with Christianity. Sorry, Kate, I'm not jumping on any bandwagons here. This is just my honest opinion. I don't agree that a world without religion would necessarily be better, and to assume that it would is disregarding millennia of its historicity, which the skeptical heretic has already laid out quite plainly in video responses. It's also evident to me that humans have repeatedly demonstrated a knack for inventing reasons for wholesale persecution, slaughter, and torture without needing religion as a prerequisite. I agree that the unholy three Abrahamic monsters should disappear forever, but ascribing to religion bad, atheist smash, isn't what I would consider a rational response at all. And that's because I don't view all religions in the same light. While I don't think any of them are particularly worthwhile, I have no quarrel with most of them, since very few preach eternal torment and suffering for anyone who doesn't agree. We are unique creatures with imagination, and some of us just feel the need to inject the idea of magic into our psyche. Some people do it with religion, some people do it with unaffiliated spirituality, some people do it with Star Wars. I don't see that in itself as crazy or detrimental, Kind of silly, but not inherently harmful. Religion doesn't make my life worse. Dogma makes my life worse. And dogma is not solely employed by religion or even theists. It can infect anyone, even people who are otherwise intelligent. And it very swiftly destroys credibility with its you're either with me or against me mentality. Religion alone doesn't cause a breakdown of sense and reason. And that should be evident by the amount of religious people who have not allowed their mythology of choice to override their common sense and their understanding of morality. All religions have tenets, but dogma is different because it creates an authoritarian mindset and must never be questioned or opposed. Dogma aside, the other problem that I have with many, but certainly not all, religions, particularly Islam and the 38,000 sects of Christianity, is that it is the ultimate scam. As a non-believer in anything supernatural, it disgusts me how they make so many promises that cannot be delivered, such as the promise of eternal life in either paradise or hell. First of all, the idea that a person's essence or mind is somehow separate from a functioning brain is the stuff of fantasy. We know that when a person's brain dies, his or her existence has ended. So please, Try to enjoy your existence while it lasts. Secondly, I find that the teaching of hell and eternal torture to be totally aberrant and antithetical to human empathy. One of the most revolting examples of this that I've ever seen was a video by a user called Jeans Take, who unfortunately no longer makes videos. It was called, My Dad Says I'm Going to Hell. In the video, she was visibly disturbed by her father seeming to be unaffected by his own belief that his daughter will spend eternity suffering in torment simply because she cannot believe in something unbelievable. This turning off of compassion for even one's own loved ones is not the mark of every religion, but a telltale sign of the bad religions. Recently, my youngest sister came out as a born-again Christian. Honestly, most Christians I've encountered don't usually wear their religions on their sleeves, but the born-agains are among the most annoying. Somehow, they think that nobody outside of their cult has heard the same tired old rhetoric that has saved them, and so they keep repeating it ad nauseum. Sis sent me a message telling me about it, knowing that I'm an atheist, 
and assuring me that she's not crazy or brainwashed. I never thought that she was, and I still don't. But I do think that she's incredibly vulnerable to buzzwords and meaningless flowery prose. In her message to me, she asked me if I was happy, and then went on to mention that our mother, who is also an atheist, is the unhappiest person she's ever known. So, after reminding my sister that I am not our mother, I also had to explain to her that our mother has never been happy because she's a genuinely bad person, which has nothing to do with her non-belief. But I'm happy. Obviously, I don't wake up singing with the birds, and I don't have a particularly perky disposition. But I have a lot in my life to be happy about. I'm healthy. I'm educated. I have a good job. I have a beautiful man whom I love and who loves me back. And I experience my life with fascination. In short, my little sister was ultimately convinced because she prayed for friends, and now she has friends. Everyone makes friends. I don't see how that proves anything. But for that, she assumed that an almighty creator of time, infinite space, and an ever-expanding universe answered her prayer for friends. Going by her logic, this would have had to have been the same deity that ignored the prayers of the people trapped in hijacked passenger jets who were probably begging for their lives right before they were incinerated alive 11 years ago. It's not her fault. These friends of hers are obviously the ones who spoon-fed her this horse shit, and it was our unhappy mother that never prepared her for these kinds of transparent scams by stressing upon her the importance of thinking critically about anything. I have always heavily disliked proselytizing, but it truly pisses me off to see people like that preying on someone who is obviously just lonely and starved for a human connection. She's already sending out warnings to repent. Whatever the f that means. Way to prove how not brainwashed she is, huh? I'm really not looking forward to the day when she finds out that these are the same people who despise females' autonomous reproductive rights, the teaching of science education that debunks their ridiculous creationism, and anyone who is gender or sexually queer. You hear that, Susie? They don't like the gays. But is that the evil of religion at work? I don't think it is, because not all religious people behave that way. In fact, not even all Christians accept such barbaric beliefs. It's dogma that warps people's thinking. It's dogma that makes our lives worse. And not all religions operate dogmatically. I mean, if my sister had told me that she had become a pagan or a Buddhist, I wouldn't even care. I mean, I've never heard of anybody turning into a bigoted asshole because they became a Wiccan. Sure, the whole witchcraft thing is a load of hooey, but it's harmless. Kind of cute, actually. Most religions are rather innocuous in that respect, and that's why I have no problem with them. I don't even see a serious problem with believing in a personal God. No, I am not an anti-theist. But if someone is trying to recruit you into their cult of choice that preaches a bunch of thou shalt nots and rules for sexual morality, glaring inaccuracies and hypocrisy, eternal punishment for thought crimes, and that their deity only accepts their way, you can be certain that that is a bad religion. 